it is day number one here in Mesozoica. Mesozoica. Mes. I, you know, I've never heard the name actually pronounced out loud myself, so I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not. But basically, this is a dinosaur park builder, you guys. Um, we've had Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which was amazing. We now know that um, Jurassic World Evolution is coming out this summer. But for now, for the time being, to carry us over until then, we have a great new park builder game which is now available on Steam. And, yeah, so basically today we are starting off creating our very own Dino Zoo, which, well, Dinosaur Park, I mean, it, it, once you hit the, like, Jurassic Park stage of things, it's like, what else are you going to call it? So we've called this park Triassic Zoo. <laughs> it's like, I know, right? Um, I kind of think how... How much more generic can you get of a ripoff of Jurassic Park? But, hey, you know what? Um, the important thing is, we tried. So, let's load up and get out. Alright, so, man, look at this landscape. This is just incredible. Look at how detailed the grass is. Oh my god. If you're a compie running through this thing, you would just lose yourself in your freaking mind, too. Geez, so we can actually look at the entire landscape as a whole. Look at all this area that we have to build our amazing Triassic Zoo. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is actually my first time diving into the gameplay, so we're going to have to just kind of reevaluate how we built um, our park in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and kind of use that as a format, I think. So if I remember right, we had to put down our visitor center and we had to construct a path and basically open our gates. So let's see if, well, we have blueprints. We have a small house. Is that supposed to be like the visitor center? Okay, let's, let's go back. We have no dinosaurs. We have no visitors. The world as a whole. Oh my god. Hey, look. The UK. The Wessex Formation. What else do we got? Some others. Just over and over again. The audio is just blasting in my ear, so just hang on just one second. Alright, sorry about that. Just getting a little too, um too mind-blowing for me there man this world is detailed though look at how amazing it is we obviously don't want to have our dinos in Antarctica Pangea the black market we can buy dino DNA and we can send dig sites out okay so we can actually do basically the same thing that we did in Operation Genesis by sending digging teams to uh, get dino DNA so let's go ahead and we will send, now if I remember right, there was like you could send one person, three people, or five people. So I guess weak, average, and strong is the same evaluation of that. Um, so let's send out a strong digging team there. And we will also, the Hell Creek Formation, our Montana dig site, which is probably where we're going to get T-Rex DNA. Um... Let's try for a rare. Oh, look at that. Just like that, we found Sue in our very first effort. That is freaking fantastic, you guys. And you really have to appreciate her, like, purple glow, because that just shows you how fabulous she actually is. All right. So, we now have Sue. I think our lives are complete. Um, we still have this coming out, so let's just wait a second on that. Um, that just has a couple more seconds. Let's just see if we can get anything else while we're here. Oh, is that a Stego? It's a Stego! Alright. So we've gotten a couple of awesome things so far. What could this be? It's nothing! 
WTF, you guys. I don't think I've ever... <laughs> wow. I, I mean, seriously, that's... That's a kick in the old crotch right there. Man. Okay. Well, let's go back. I can't believe we found Sue, though. That's so awesome. Now, I, see, my thing is, is that just going to be, like, a portion of her DNA? Or is that going to be... Let's get out of the world map. Is that going to be, like, a, um, a complete... Um, a complete find, you know? I don't really know. But look at all this stuff that we can put down. We can put... Why? why? We have TVs and things that we can... This is kind of crazy that we can put down all this stuff. Is that a solar light? Kind of seems a little random, to be honest. New blueprints. Blueprint settings. Okay. So it looks like we can do custom builds. Let's just go back here and build um, a hatchery. That sounds like a good plan. We have the art gates, the hamburger kiosk. Okay. So there are a couple of buildings up here. Cenorex. Nice. The visitor's entrance. Okay, that's what we want. So let's just go down here. Let's kind of get a nice wide view. And I guess we should probably put our visitor's entrance kind of in the center of the park. And then we will put a hatchery. Um, I mean, we kind of want to have this laid out for, like, visitors' crap, like the Cenorex and the hamburger kiosk. Actually, we'll just go ahead and we'll put the hamburger kiosk down as soon as they walk in. And a hatchery can probably go... We'll say we'll have a trail that wraps around over here, and our first attraction can be, like, right here. Okay? Hopefully that doesn't start spitting out dinos, because that would suck. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll put a gate right here. And what about a trail? Do you think that we actually have to lay out a trail? Or do you think that we can... There's windows, a small window. Is that pizza? Pizza wall piece. Alright, I just have to see what this looks like. What the hell? That's just so random. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Dinosaur wall signs. That's actually kind of cool. I like the fact that you can just, like, throw that up on the side like that. Alright. Cenerx TV. There is just a lot of, um, detail in here, you guys. Floodlights. We could probably use a couple of those just to keep up in our, our hatchery for whatever the hell this thing's gonna be. And... Uh, we don't know if it's going to be a herbivore or a carnivore coming out of there, so really there's nothing to be done with that. I guess the next thing to do would be put up a wire fence, huh? Now, is it... Should it be a wire fence? Or should it be a... A metal fence? A wooden fence? <laughs> a flat screen fence? That'd be weird. Throw a T-Rex bed in there. Okay. Um, damn. I guess. Let's go. I mean, we gotta put something down. Here. Let's just, let's go back over here. And we'll try putting down just a brick wall. Okay? Okay. That's a little small. That's a little small still. Two by two, four by four. That's that's not big enough to like keep anyone safe. Alright, let's try the wire fence again. And see the hell did I Oh, okay. There actually is a wire fence there. Right. So let's try putting one down next to it. Just like that. 
so fresh and so clean. Um, how do we rotate? Okay. Q and E are our rotating buttons. But as far as rotating our objects... Oh, there we go. Well, that's a little bit of a... A mess. <laughs> oh well. Um, so yes, honey, that's, that's why our dinosaur pen looks like absolute crap. <laughs> Why, why? Oh, okay. No, it's it's just having a hard time loading, I suppose. Okay. Well. Apologies, you guys. This. Oh my God. Okay. This is gonna be the world's smallest dinosaur paddock. And we're just gonna have a Velociraptor go and look at it. And he's gonna be like, "What the hell?" And he's just gonna jump over it and just have a field day, living large among the mountain tops. Killing mountain men as they climb up and explorate just like feats of majesty and all that crap. Okay. So we kind of sort of have a fence down. And it kind of sort of might provide um, safety for our visitors. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so lost at this point. Why is there a house? There's just a random house over here. 